What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Recreating. So today we're going to be doing a review of this custom diorama for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles NECA figures. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so here it is. I've been working day and night doing this thing and uh, I, I like the way it turned out. <laughs> uh, it looks good to me at least. Um, I wanted to do a, a, a dial for the Ninja Turtles. Originally I was going to do the Shredder layer, uh, which I might still do. Um, but I kind of I kind of went the other way and just did the Ninja Turtles uh, sewer layer first. And then on top, on top of this, there's going to be uh, a street. Uh, you're going to see buildings on top and it's going to be a street and it's going to be a sewer. Uh, or you guys could see like the hole and if you guys look on top of the hole you guys gonna you you'll be able to see like this image here um but i'm still working on that and um i just wanted to show the layer first before i show that because that other part's not done yet i'm still currently working on it and it's taking forever because i had to cut out the whole street thing uh, and do the sidewalks shape the buildings up and carve all the buildings and all kinds of stuff so um I just wanted to show this stuff off before I show you guys the whole complete thing. And I think it turned out pretty good. Um, like the flooring came out good. The little sofa came out good. The, the turtles, well, I'm just playing. Well, I did paint the turtle shells. So the little turtle shells are a little bit different color than they originally were. They were a lot darker green or something. Um, I didn't like that color. So I ended up just painting the shells. So I painted those shells as well. Uh, if you guys haven't seen the review on this guy, I painted his pants and I did this little helmet up here. So I did that dude. And then that's the little sofa. Some shading in it and stuff like that. Um, if you guys look at the cartoon, the background's usually like, it's not cartoonish. It's more like realistic than anything else. As far as this thing goes, I really didn't know what it was. I think that's what it was. Uh, I was looking for all kinds of images. I was watching the, I was going back and watching all the turtle uh, uh, videos and the little uh, seasons and everything, and I just got little glimpses of this thing. So I'm not 100% sure if that's what it, exactly what it looks like, but that's what I got from all the little references or the little videos that I watched, and that's what I got. So that's what I drew right there. It's a little picture frame. It is actually stuck on the wall it's not drawn onto the wall it's stuck on the wall and also this mirror it's stuck on the wall and then the little sewer things oh focus camera there we go let me move these guys out of the way so you guys could see the whole thing so here is the whole thing right here that's my xbox controller charging in the back but yeah here's the little signs there how to draw all this is handmade that's handmade that's handmade handmade not that i printed that out because i just didn't feel like writing the whole stop sign that's all handmade the books are handmade my camera will focus i'm still working on the television don't worry about the inside of the tv a little antenna you can take off the antenna you can move these things around if you want so yeah but that's the tv And the inside, I'm going to put a picture of April O'Neil like telling the news and stuff like that or reporting the news right there or whatever. So that's what I'm going to do. Or I, I was also thinking of putting like the recreating logo on there so they could see like, you know, they were watching my channel supposedly. But whatever. Anyways, that's the little antenna up there. The little table that they have here, the little coffee table. Painted the whole thing. That's the sofa. The little couch. I wasn't 100% sure what the back looked like, but I just kind of designed it how I thought it would have looked. So that's that. Here's the top view of it. This thing took me forever. Four of the evers. <laughs> it took me forever to make. I mean, this, like, to put all these little details and little holes on there, all the little colors and everything, the spank splats and all that stuff uh, that sucker took me forever to make this didn't take me that long I just cut some um, some popsicle sticks this took me a pretty good long time 
I was originally going to carve it off of just like regular uh, styrofoam, but it was taking forever and I had to cut so many pieces off and shape it and cut it and shape it and cut it. And I was like, you know what? <laughs> Forget it. I was even, I was almost done with it. Like, like literally I was like complete, like all I had to do was cut off like the bottom part of it because it wasn't straight or anything and then shave off a little bit of the back. But then I was like, man, I still have to do all this. So I was like, forget it. So I just I just constructed this guy out of, you know, other the other styrofoam, the styrofoam that you guys can buy at uh, Home Depot. Or I buy my stuff at Home Depot. I've never found that styrofoam at Lowe's. I don't know if you could find it at Lowe's in, in your uh, Lowe's by your house. But I can never find the styrofoam for uh, this thing, for the styrofoam that I need at a Lowe's. I always have to find it at a Home Depot for some reason. But anyways, that's beside the point. The point is that it's all completely done. Um, like I said, there is a street coming pretty soon. There's gonna be a street up here uh, covering the top and there's gonna be pipes uh, that are attached to the actual stuff up there. Like uh, I'm gonna put a fire hydrant down here. Oh, you can't even see it. <laughs> I'm like pointing down here and I'm talking up here. Uh, there's gonna be a fire hydrant up here and there's gonna be uh, a pipe that's connected to the fire hydrant and connected to this And then there's gonna be another pipe coming straight here other pipes coming like this and all over the place So it'll be a whole bunch of channels of pipes all over the place And then on top the street and I'll put Bebop and Rock City or I'll put the foot, foot soldiers And I'm gonna put a building and then uh, over here. There's gonna be like the little um, uh, On top it'll be uh, the suit the sewage uh, drainage uh the, or the drain for the street drain uh so you guys could see there's gonna be like little you know those street drains that are like little bars and stuff it, you could did you it's in the original um uh ninja turtles uh playset if you guys go back and you guys see the sewer uh playset uh there's one little section where it has a little holes on it it's like a sewer a sewage drainage uh place at, on the top of the the street uh that's what's gonna be up here and you guys could see so sh so light could shine from the top and hit the bottom and um yeah and that's what i wanted to do <laughs> so anyways let me walk that way so you guys could see uh the whole thing there that's pretty cool and now i have a little diorama where i could set up all my turtles and uh yeah i could sit there chill there Watch some TV. This guy also sit back there. Watch some TV. I made it big enough so I could fit three turtles because that's what I saw on the actual uh, cartoon that it was three. It was a three seater. I know there was another seat back here, but unfortunately I didn't make this white. Well, you could put a seat back here because, like, if you if you size up one of these, it would fit back here. But I was like, yeah, yeah maybe maybe later maybe later i don't know i'm not 100 percent sure but it's a lot of work so i was like i'll think about it i would just want to do the top thing first and if i have some styrofoam left over then i'll do the chair but if i don't have styrofoam le uh, left over i won't do the chair so or the seat or the recliner or whatever that thing is right there a the little love seat that's right uh, not a love seat it's like a little uh, single chair thingamajig that sits back there and i know there's another table over here on the original cartoons it's like a little tiny table but i wasn't 100 percent sure if i wanted to do that one either because then i had to scoot the the couch all the way over here towards the edge and then put the little thing there and i don't know how that looks but that looks pretty damn cool i took a whole bunch of pictures i'm gonna post them up on my instagram uh, pretty soon after I make this video because every time I post stuff something on the on Instagram for some reason uh, Other people are starting to take my credit for the work that I've done which pretty much sucks It's cool when people you know like they Post my stuff and they give me credit for it and then that way I could get more uh, Views or more subscribers or more followers on Instagram or more subscribe more subscribers on YouTube But some people don't do that some people take credit for your work which sucks all for all you artists out there that that uh do work <laughs> do art and all that stuff and somebody takes your credit it sucks you know it sucks it, it sucks really really bad you know after putting all your work and dedication towards something and somebody else takes your credit or in, in any situation really it, it really sucks that way but anyways 
Ah, I digress. So yeah, that's completely done. Anyways, that's gonna wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed this little episode. Um, I hope you enjoyed the diorama. I really love the way it came out. Uh, stay tuned for the rest of it. I'll show you guys as soon as I build the top part of it. I'll do another video for you guys. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up, guys, because it does help me out. It makes the video, uh, the more likes in the video, the more comments in the video, the more it gets shared on YouTube, the more it gets promoted on YouTube, and that way I get more subscribers and so on and so forth. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe because if you guys do, guess what? This will see me on the next one. Peace.